Hi! In this video, we'll be going through an introduction to Carol. So who or what is Carol? Well, Carol is a dog who listens to your commands. And this is a picture of Carol. So programming or coding is really just giving commands to a computer to tell it what we want it to do. And this is just like giving commands to a dog. So in this unit, we'll be spending a lot of time with Carol, giving Carol commands and teaching Carol new commands to learn the fundamentals of computer programming. But what exactly can we do with Carol? Well, we can move Carol around Carol's world and put down and pick up tennis balls. So this is Carol's world. It's a grid world with walls along the entire edge. And each dot in the grid world represents a space that Carol can stand on. But what specifically can Carol do? Well, Carol knows four commands. Carol knows how to move, turn left, put down a tennis ball, and take a tennis ball. So the move command moves Carol one space in the direction that Carol is facing. The turn left command turns Carol 90 degrees to the left. Put ball puts down one tennis ball on the space that Carol is standing on. And take ball picks up one tennis ball from the space that Carol is standing on. Now let's dissect a Carol command and see what all the parts are so that we can give Carol commands. So first, it has to be one of these four commands that Carol knows. Second, we notice that there are no spaces in the commands. And we need to match the capitalization exactly so that Carol can understand. So move is lowercase. And every command ends with open parentheses, close parentheses, semicolon. And when we're giving commands to a computer, we have to give commands in a language that the computer understands. And we have to type it in a way that the computer understands. So that's what's going on with Carol. Carol only knows four commands. And we have to type these commands precisely so that Carol can understand them. So the best way to learn how to program with Carol is to just dive in and do it. So here we'll be writing our first Carol program that has Carol start in the world on the left with Carol in the bottom left corner facing east and end in the world on the right where Carol moves forward two spaces, puts down a tennis ball, and then moves forward two more spaces. So let's dive in and write this program. So here we are in the code editor, and this is where we will be writing our programs throughout the course. Now there's a lot of really cool features and tools in this editor that we'll learn about as we go through the course. Right now we'll just go over our first program. So this is the area that we build our program. And the way we build our program is by putting together the proper blocks. So over here is the block area. We're able to drag blocks from the block area into the actual program. So I'll drag out the move command from the blocks into the code area. And if I drop it, it'll snap right into place. So this is where we build the program. Over here is where we can actually run our program and see the result of our code. So I've written one move command. Let's see what happens when we click run. So Carol moved one space. Go ahead and reset it. And if you ever need a reminder for what the goal of the program is, all you have to do is go over to this exercise tab right here. So here's the run code tab. We'll go over to exercise and see, OK, this is our goal. This is what we want Carol to do. So this is our goal. We want Carol to move twice, put down a tennis ball, and then move two more times. So let's go ahead and write that program. Go back to the run code. So I've pulled out one move command. Let's pull out one more and put a ball down. And notice there's a lot more blocks we can play around with in these sections. But for now, we've only talked about commands. So we're going to stick with, with this section right here in commands. So we have Carol move, move, and put a ball. Let's, let's see what that looks like. Move, move, put a ball. Awesome. And if we want the code to go slower, we can actually move this slider. And now Carol's going to move a little bit slower. Move, move, put ball. And we can make Carol go really fast, too. Great. Now, what's cool is if you don't want to use blocks, you can actually switch to the code view right here by clicking this, this button right here, switch to code view. And now we're actually typing. So we have, we've had Carol move twice and put a ball. Now we just need Carol to move two more times. So let's move one more time, move one more time. Let's see what that does. What's cool is in the code view, when we run it, we can actually see each line highlight as it runs. So there we go, we got it. Carol moves, moves, puts down a ball, moves and moves. Great. We can switch back to block view, and we have this. Now, one last thing I want to point out is you may notice this check code button right here. So when you think you're finished with your program, when you think you've solved it, you can click on check code, and it'll actually run tests on your code to see if it solves the problem correctly. So in this case, it does. If we were to delete some code, 
try checking it again, we see that actually we do not we do not pass the world. So if we run this, we see we do not get to our desired world. Carol has not moved two more times. So I'm going to go ahead and copy these, paste them there, run it again. And now we've solved it. And if we check our code, awesome. So that's our first Carol program. Now it's your turn to give it a try.